On today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at DC Direct Infinite Crisis Superman. Superman! Um, we have a look at the packaging here. We get a nice starburst effect on the, on the back card here. Nice blue color. And then you've got the Infinite Crisis title up at the top, which also serves as the figure's display stand, which I will get into as when we open this guy up. In the top right hand corner we get a sample of Infinite Crisis number one, which was an awesome uh, which was an awesome comics series. Um, I, don't, I think I liked Identity Crisis better, but Infinite Crisis was definitely uh, definitely a good read. And then we got Superman there on the back. The other characters in the wave are we've got uh, in order. We've got. Uh, Wonder Girl, Donna Troy, we've got Wonder Woman, we've got Superman, we've got a very battle-damaged Batman, and we also have uh, Firestorm. So there you go. And there's DC Direct. DC Direct Online. Uh, there you go. So now that we've had a look at the packaging, what we'll do is we will open up the Superman figure himself, and we will have a closer look at the figure. Now the first thing I noticed when I took this guy out of the packaging was, uh, it's a good example of how a figure in a packaging looks mediocre, but then when you take the guy actually out of the packaging and you have him displayed loose, um, the figure itself actually isn't too bad. Um, I, there, there are negative points I have to make about the figure, but I will get to that in a second. Um, one of the positive points I will say is that the the paint scheme on the figure is quite nice. The coloring of the red as well as the blue is a very nice choice. Um, one of the few Supermans that actually had this darker blue, uh, a lot of Supermans, and I don't know if the camera's going to get this just right. The camera might just might be picking it up as a light blue. But uh, in actual fact, the blue in the figure is more of a darker color, um, almost similar to that of the uh, Superman Returns uh, Superman, um, as well as the cape. The cape looks red, but it's almost more of a, a dark burgundy red in, in, in a person. Um, so I will give points for the actual paint scheme. Um, the symbol itself is a gorgeous symbol too. Uh, most Superman symbols tend to be a little, uh, a little smaller. Uh, this one is is nice and elongated. Um, the a lot of detail put in the boots and everything else. I mean, the figure itself is really nicely detailed. Um, there is, of course, negative aspects to the figure, and uh, I'll actually get into that right now. Um, in the way of articulation, though, before I get into negative points, the articulation. There is quite a bit in the head. Um, the arms do have a ball joint socket, and there's a joint in the elbows. There's a swivel joint in the hand. Um, that carries over on the other side as well. <laughs> um, there's articulation in the legs as well as the knees, and there is also articulation in the foot. Um, one one drawback, though, in the way of articulation is there doesn't seem to be any articulation in the waist. And what will you end up getting? You'll get Superman posed in a position where it looks like his legs are facing this way, but his torso is facing this way. And it's not so bad if, you know, you have him look like he was flying kind of thing. Because it's almost like that's what they've intended the figure to be, especially with the cape, because the cape isn't falling straight down. The cape is spread out like the wind's blowing it. Um, yeah, so I mean that's a bit of a drawback, the fact that you can't, you can't adjust the waist at all. Um, 
one other thing as well is the, f the face itself is nicely detailed. If I just move the arm out of the way. The face is nicely detailed, although I'm not a big fan of the grimace of his teeth showing and everything else. Um, it, it just looks like Superman's taken a super crap, or at least he's struggling to get it out. Um, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it would have been nice just to have Superman posed and, uh, you know, have just a regular look on his face. Then you could have him standing. It just, some people might like this face. I'm not a big fan. It just, he, he looks just really angry. And then, um, one other point too is I, I do like the inclusion of the, uh, the yellow symbol on the, on the cape, which is rather nice. His one accessory, as I mentioned uh, before I open this up, is the Infinite Crisis stand, uh, which will allow Superman to stand on it, which is rather nice. Um, the figure, I mean, overall the figure's not too bad. It just, it's a shame that they intended on having him pose a certain way so his face looks based on that, his cape, you know, is, is in, a, in a motion kind of sculpt, and then his legs are in this awkward uh, straight pose. It would have been nice if they were on a ball joint or something that you could adjust the legs, but DC Direct, much like Marvel Select, sometimes you you kind of lose a bit of articulation to get figures a certain way, but uh, there you have a toy spot on Infinite Crisis Superman. And uh, with that, I will see you guys next time.